Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel. Thanks for being here. If you don't know what I do, uh, I teach you really simple magic tricks, really simple card tricks mostly, um, but we do some other uh, tricks as well. If you go through the channel, look at some of my other videos. I got tricks with coins, tricks with pens, rubber bands, uh, you name it, all kind of household objects. You should be able to watch the video once and figure it out right away and then immediately be able to show it to your friends. Most of these tricks require no practice at all. Uh, they're super duper simple, but you know, of course, I think you should watch the videos a couple times and of course you should practice. But what I'm saying is they're just really super duper easy. All right. That's what I want to do. Give you super easy tricks that you don't have to spend a lot of time learning, but still tricks that blow your friends away. So make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe and check out the rest of these videos. Last week did a gambling routine, did a little poker demonstration. So this is another one. Okay. Doing another one. So this is a poker demonstration. And what poker demonstration is, is um, it's not necessarily a card trick, not necessarily a magic trick. Some people, they don't love card tricks, you know, but they, they do want to see you do something with poker because the, you know, they think in their minds that poker means money, right? And so if you say, Hey, you want to watch uh, how a friend of mine always deals himself a Royal flush? They'll say yes, right? Totally. Show me how to deal myself a royal flush. And of course, you're not going to teach them, but you know, that's, that's just what you start with. That's the patter that you start with, or the story, right? Magicians, uh, when they do tricks, they, they, they tell you a story. And that we call that story the patter, right? The words that you say while you do the trick. So let's say you've got a deck of cards that you've been using through, throughout your routine. Um, I'm using a deck of Skullbacks here from uh, David Blaine. So what I've done already is I've removed some cards from the deck and I have those in my pocket. I have those away, uh, out of the way for the spectator. And really they are the spades in a royal flesh. They're the 10, the jack, the queen, and the king. And then I have the ace of hearts, which is not part of a royal flesh, right? Because it doesn't match the suit. But you want that ace of hearts there. And it's kind of like the joke, okay? And again, all of these are from the skullback deck. Okay. I'm going to take this ace of hearts and I put it at the very back of the packet. So it's back there. And then the other thing you need is a real ace of spades. Okay. But I've got this ace of spades from another back design. So this back design is red. You want to make sure that you have a contrasting color like red or blue or green and black, red and black, you know, something that the person can clearly see, Hey, these are, these are from two different decks. Ace of spades is the card you want, right? Ace of spades is the card that matches these others, but the back doesn't match. And that's kind of like the joke. And this is going to go at the very back. So when you have your whole packet together, this is what we call a packet. That last ace of spades is on the top, the red back or the alternating back is on the top. And I'm going to keep my deck close by cause I'm going to need that. Okay. I need this deck. Uh, I need this deck to do my, my little secret. Okay. And I'm going to put this in a pocket or a jacket pocket or a pants pocket or a backpack pocket, uh, with the cards facing out. So they can't see the back because we've been doing tricks with this deck all day. People remember this deck. They know this is the deck I have. And when I pull these out, I just want them to think that these cards go with this deck and, and they do for the most part. Right? So I say, Hey, I got this thing I want to show you. It's a poker demonstration. My friend is always able to deal himself a royal flush. So using really underheaded methods of shuffling and dealing, my friend is able to deal himself a flush uh, of cards. And if you don't know what flush is, it's the 10 of spades, right? The jack of spades, the queen of spades, the king of spades. And it's, all I'm doing is I'm putting the top card in the bottom. That's all I'm doing. And the, oh, yeah, and the ace of hearts. Oh, Ace of hearts. So, you know, and if you want a Royal flush, you really don't want that. You really don't want that Ace of hearts. So I'll show you what my friend did. He's really sneaky. He's able to take that Ace of hearts, right? And just switch it into an Ace of spades. And then he has his Royal flush. But the problem is, is my friend is a little, too greedy is a little too fast and he didn't make sure that he grabbed an ace of spades from the right deck. That's the end. So the, 
it's kind of like two tricks in one, right? The Ace of Spades came out of nowhere. They don't know where it came from. But then on top of that, it's a completely different back. And they're like, how did you, how did you bring in a red back card, right? And there really wasn't anything to that. There really wasn't anything to what I did. There was no slight there at all. Uh, the Ace is now just over here on top of the deck. I'll show that to you again in slow motion. Um, if I just move the cards back uh, to where they were, do it really slow. I got all my cards like this. I'm transferring each card to the back. Just log like it. Turn it face down. So we still see black and black, right? We haven't done our last reveal yet. Take the ace out, flip it up, show it. Now the ace of spades is on the bottom. Putting it like this face up, cast a shadow or wave your hands over. And then you're just doing this slam -o, right? And when you lift, it's the ace of spades. Then I'm just picking it all up. Dealing the cards back out. Okay. So again, they still see five cards. They don't know that the ace of hearts is now right there. And then I say, you know, all the cards match, right? All the cards match. But my friend was a little too fast and a little too hasty. And I always turn the black cards over first. He just didn't grab the ace of spades from the right deck. There you go. Fun little poker demonstration. Have a lot of fun with it. I'll see you guys with another new video next week.